All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Now Loading. Uh, we are here. You already know what the show is like. Just while your life is loading, come play some video games and enjoy some great conversation. Once again, I got Lou G with me, Brody the Joker, Young Deuce. We in here playing Mario Kart. Had to run it back. Had to run it back. Had to. <laughs> I lost by one point. We had to run that back. All right. My play was a disgrace. Man. For mankind. I like how Brody is remaining humble and just not right. Say anything. <laughs> right. But, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of upset I didn't get gold on every single course, but you know, oh, it's, oh, it's that, it's that. Oh, we're doing. Yeah, that. I'm, I'm oh, a little okay. upset I didn't run it, run y'all and get my 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 clean <laughs> uh, with sixty points. It was it was a close battle. It was a close battle. Yeah, All right? Will got me with that. Yeah, you got me the last second with that horn on one of the boys. <laughs> <laughs> He was not ready for that. Was I was not. Dog. I was right next. I was right. I was in your car, damn near, and you hit that. Shit. Yeah, I thought you. Was gonna, I thought you was gonna hit that little with a gear that speed, and you just. I was trying to. Like, oh. I was trying to. Yeah, draft past you. Yeah, you weren't getting. I couldn't let you have that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. But of course, we just got getting back into it again. It's 150 cc's. Do like six races and stuff like that. You know, we are being competitive, but at the same time, it's just us kicking it, having great conversation, and continuing to have some fun playing video games that's right that's right man in video game man so i gotta know though if mario kart became a real thing like let's say like yo like tracks and all like everything like y'all looking at the stage right now like from the uh highway level to the cow level to move to from from mario circuit water park twisted mansion rainbow road let's just say they build all of these in real life and turn this into a real legit sport. Would you join? Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I would, bro. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna tell you this. I'm not. I'm not gonna race on no rainbow road. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, no prop. No, no disrespect to my L LGBTQ brothers and sisters. It's more so about there's no railings no on railings. the damn rainbow road. So I need I need some bumpers. <laughs> There's a few of these though that don't like you could fall into a crater if you went uh played the shy guy level or Yoshi's level. Or oh, yeah, you, you can fall into some lava if you're in Bowser's castle. Right. Oh yeah. I mean, are we also saying there's a lack of two that's going to pick you up out of the, out of your fall too? So uh, that's that that's what we get. It's open for discussion. Okay. It, there needs to be. If <laughs> As I fall off right there. Precaution. You can't just have niggas just dying off the side of it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what kind of announcer gonna keep going after that. Right. They gotta do it like uh like that show floors lava. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where it's like it's just the out zone. But yeah, I mean I it, it, I think it'd be lit, man. If they had like legit races and everything, man, you, you compete and everything. Then but they, they gotta do it like the old school box cars though. You gotta be able to either build your uh your go kart too, like yeah. make, like take it to that point. Yes. So that way it's like, you know, then it's truly like, oh shit, all right, everybody got their own little customization. Gotta have some rules and parameters, of course, but like that way it can be really dope. So what so what are just at least like maybe two to three parameters you would give in building your cart? Well, they gotta have a I, I would I would believe they gotta have like a speed limit, dog. Like you can't soup you can't you can't put NOS in your in your stuff or something. I mean, but I mean, can you not? I mean, because technically, I feel like because you got the mushrooms True. that make you go faster. True. Yeah, because then how they do the power ups? Right. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't. I would imagine it would come out of a weapon rather than us holding this. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, bro, you're definitely gonna be paralyzed from the neck down if you get hit by a red shell. Right. <laughs> no, if you get hit by uh, a blue, you ain't shell, walking away from that. <laughs> that blue one is gonna be the monster. Right. That blue one, yeah. But imagine right. how scary it's gonna be too when you hit that banana peel. Oh, oh yeah. Man. Or and hitting how the hitting the railings and stuff. Right. Or even how scary it'll be when you see a fucking flying bullet. <laughs> oh yeah, hell no. Oh hell no. <laughs> or they brought back the uh, the joint from uh, Double Dash with the chomp that would chase you down. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's yeah, not forget be, about yeah. the piranha now being added into the mix. So. Oh yeah, yeah. How did it? Did it hit him? No, oh. it did not. Bro, it still ain't hit you. Finally, dang! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just seeing it hover behind you, like fam. If you do not hit, if you do not catch him slipping up. 
Oh, I can fall off with, even with the with the bomb. Yes. Oh, that's trash. I thought I. Oh, <laughs> I I to skate oh. Oh. Come on, now. Come on, come on. Man. Come on. Who would, hey. if you if you were a Mario Kart racer, who would you want to have sponsor your stuff like NASCAR style? Like people could put stuff on your cart. Who would you want to be sponsored by? Uh, OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Brody. That is genius. That is fucking genius. Oh, shit. What's this? Oh, these new stages? Yeah, it's mad. Oh, snap. I didn't know these came with the stuff now. Yeah, the new stages, bro. I got to go. I got to go either like. Funimation or Crunchyroll for the culture. Oh, uh, for the culture, for, for for the culture for myself, I'm gonna go with Murray's hair grease. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Murray's hair grease. Grease. the bright or the bright orange cart. <laughs> and I want and I want the dude on the cover of my hood just smack right there. That, but then you also that means that you gotta have like a do rag flap like. Like your your uh your that's my shoe. parachute. Yeah, your parachute. That's my parachute. You gotta be the do rag <laughs> in the bag. Oh, my parachute would say shake and bake, you know, in real Ricky Bobby form, <laughs> but also the for your for those late night chicken meals. Good old shake and bake. Man, I had to say Harold's right. chicken for me, dog. Oh, Harold's yeah. chicken. Harold's, yep. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I hate this place. I forgot, man. I still don't. Oh, I've never been in this. I'm racing it, man. I, I I remember this place, man. Yo, okay, so this is one of the newer stages. Yeah, this is a rough, this is a rough stage though. <laughs> but is it is it this one completely new or was it on the older Mario Kart? I could have nah, never one. seen this. One. I could have sworn it was on one. I think it was the one before. I don't know. I know it I've wasn't on none of the. It, like the only way it could be on was one of the the mobile games or maybe yeah. uh, the the Mario Kart Seven. But I don't. Yeah, you don't you forget how many he's had, man. Being uh, yeah. here. Did you did y'all did y'all play the mobile joint? Nah, uh-uh. I kind of played it, and then I was like, eh. Yeah, it, it didn't. It didn't. At what they say, it wasn't giving what it's supposed to be giving. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> it's not giving. It's not yeah, giving it Mario Kart. It's giving. What was the What was the last handheld y'all actually uh had? Um, I, I have a 3ds. Okay, I had yeah, 3ds. May have been the last one I had. I mean, uh, unless you counting this as a handheld. True. Yeah. Um, I think the last one I had, I actually stopped really like early. I think it was like Game Boy Advance. What's your uh, no list? What's your favorite handheld? Man, listen, I don't think this gets enough credit, and it should. Fucking Game Gear. Yeah. Game Gear. Yeah, yeah. that is one hundred percent my favorite. Game Gear does not get enough love. I I'm love so Game sick Gear. of people shitting on Sega. Like Sega just didn't have a hot ass game console, bro. They had like three because uh, Dreamcast, Genesis, Game Gear, all fire. Yeah. Just because, see, just because Dreamcast has such a did not have that much of a success, people want to act like, oh man, Sega fell off, man. No, Sega nah, got Dreamcast hits. Dreamcast was fire. Dreamcast was fire because listen, we wouldn't have 2K now if it wasn't for Dreamcast. Yeah. Absolutely did. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Power Taxi. Stone, Crazy Taxi. Yep. Hell, Sonic said, Adventure. Yep. Yeah. As we said previously on uh, Arcade Tokens, Power Stone. Mm -hmm. I will say this, though. The Game Gear, the only problem with Game Gear, like, I mean, I, there was this game, man. One of my favorite games on that joint was Battletoads, man. Oh, my yeah. God. I love Battletoads, Battletoads on Game Gear so hit so hard. Yeah. And uh, the only problem is that the Game Gear's battery was so trash, you could damn near trash. never finish the game. Trash. Yeah. I had I uh I had uh, uh I think not Sub Zero Mythologies was on there. Was wait was Sub Zero Mythologies on there? I had it on sixty four. I don't know if it was I, on Game Gear. Yeah, but I don't know if it was on Game Gear. But I know that they had that Home Alone two game on there. That game used to slap on yeah. there. <laughs> and of course Sonic two, like Sonic oh, yeah. two, and then like the knuckle pack that mm -hmm. you can put into the Game Gear. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm trying to remember what all I had on the Game Gear, man. I feel like I had like a fighting game on there. I can't remember what it was though. Man. Right, maybe at Streets of Rage. That's exactly what it was. Yeah. Be kind sir. Mm -hmm. That's Streets of Rage, yeah. Street oh, my shit. Every now and then I'll download an emulator just to play that Streets of Rage. Have you played Streets of Rage 4 yet? Yeah, yeah, that was fire. Yes, Streets of Rage 4 on PlayStation right now. It is, I love it. 
I want them to make. I like like how they did the new, the new Ninja Turtles too. I, I need, but I need the Battle Toads again. I need Battle Man. Toads, bro. Damn, bro. You know what? Would y'all watch a Battle Toads movie? Oh yeah. Yeah, I probably would. That would probably be hilarious. Was, that story was pretty dope. That's what I thought. I I loved it. What I would I what I wish they would come back out is Earthworm Jim. Oh, oh wow. yeah. I used to love I Earthworm Jim. I don't know why Earthworm Jim. I, I guess because it, uh, the way he looks, perhaps, but. Mm-hmm. Why did he not get as much love as Rayman when it's basically the same game? I don't know. I don't know. Well, they they because like they, they didn't really do much with him like outside of the the legacy consoles. They didn't really do much with with Earthworm Jim. I mean, he had a TV show. Yeah, but that was, but I'm saying that was when it, in his heydays. I'm talking about after. Well, like, he was on Clay Fighter. Oh yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, Earth from Jimmy's be my dude, man. Yo, what does this stage used to be? Uh, this is the mall, Coconut Mall. Yep. Okay. Man, this- here's a game. I don't know if y'all played this one. This is a man. If you know what I'm talking about, you knew this game was unbelievably fire. It was called Rocket Knight Adventures. Yeah. I don't remember that. Man, it was uh, you were basically like some kind of marsupial or something, and he wore uh, like armor, had a sword and a jetpack. And the villains, when you fight them, they light up. You know, like like like, like yep. every time you hit them with your sword, man, that's another one you gotta just find on your own. Rocket Knight Adventures, bro. Okay, I, that, I, I remember that because that was one of the uh, few game, first game, not first game, one of the few games that they had available at Blockbuster to rent. Yeah. But it wasn't Blockbuster. It was like what, what Hollywood Video. Hollywood Video. Man. Oh, Hollywood Video. Hollywood video. <laughs> wow. Hollywood right. video, man. Y'all remember the Blockbuster days? Oh, yeah. yeah. They, said they had the little popcorn up by the, by the counter, by the register. Bro, Blockbuster nice used to be, that's it to be a staple, man. Just yeah. To, oh, yeah. Just to be able to get out there, look at that wall of, of decisions. <laughs> that wall of decisions. <laughs> that was the most stressful decision you ever had to make. It was like, damn, which game, which move am I going to get? But also, yeah. I feel like we we beat games more back in that time because you you had that five day window. You're like, all right, I gotta beat. Yeah. It. Initially, I feel like you had three days, bro. Like you yeah, had to yeah. beat that yeah. over the weekend. Yeah. They treated like the movies. Yeah. They were like, hey, we don't care if it's a game that takes a two two and a half weeks to beat. You want to figure it out, man. Yeah. Yep. Right. That's what. But that was around the time too, like how you said, uh, Deuce, where you had the wall of decisions. You saw that switch because at first you used to be like, "Yo, man, I got, I get one movie, I get to want to watch with y'all, or get to watch over the weekend." Like mm-hmm. for me, when my mom went to work and my dad went to go do what he's supposed to be doing, yeah. uh, you by yourself, so you get to watch this movie on the big TV and, and, and yeah. stuff like that. But when games came out. You like I don't know if it's just me, but I stopped caring about the movie. I'm like, yo, y'all can get whatever y'all want. I'm trying that's kind to of a fact, game. yeah, yeah. Because like you said, Brody, you only had three days, so it's like, yo, I'm in my room for the next three days. Nigga, yep. you was dedicated. You was playing all weekend. You was playing on that last day. If it was like a Monday, yeah, in the morning before you uh went to school, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. And you know what's funny, man? It's that was the it, now that I'm thinking about it, that was the easiest, cheapest way for your for your parents to keep you out of their hair for a whole weekend. Five dollars? Like we didn't think yeah. of it like that. They're like, oh yeah, I'll pay that five dollars for this weekend so I can have my time. Yep. My mom, my mom was real clever with it when games came out. She's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna bring you over to your grandma's house. <laughs> <laughs> you can take how- game game with you too. Uh, that's how I got into like a lot of games. Like I didn't play Rainbow Six until, like I said, block the blockbuster. That's what got me into it. Hell, mm-hmm. that's how I got into Turok. I was like, I Ooh. wasn't, I wasn't picking up Turok, and then I was like, let me give it a shot. You know what I'm saying? See what it was, and I was like, oh shit, this game actually slaps. Yeah, yeah, Turok was a good one. I remember that was one of the first games when I first got 64. I had a uh, Mario 64, Star Wars: Shadows of the Empire, and Turok. Mm-hmm. And I remember Turok was my least excited to play because I didn't know what the hell it was. I just knew I liked dinosaur shit. Yeah, and I beat, I beat Mario 64, of course. Dang and it. then I then I started firing up that Shadows of the Empire. I'm a big Star Wars fan. But then I was like, what's this Turok thing? And that joint turned out to be like lethal. I was like, oh, this right. is cool. I like, was like, Whoa. yo. Yeah, see, I, I skipped Turok too. And then uh, 
some way put me up on game. They was just like, nah, bro. Cause like I couldn't understand why everybody was so excited when the second one was coming out. They yep. was like, yo, yeah. This and it was a too. black cartridge. You know, 64 started feeling himself when they're like, man, we ain't even gonna make the cartridge the same color. Yeah, because like was wasn't killer in killer instinct gold was gold. Yep. Now that's when they started coming out with the gold ones. Cause I remember yep. uh that's how Zelda was. Yep, and then Pokemon was yellow. Yep. Yep. Pokemon Stadium was fire. Pokemon was Stadium was fire, bro. We, we got we got that here, man. We got we got a Nintendo 64 and a Genesis here. And the you know the uh PS PS4, the PS5, the Xbox, and the new Xbox. We're trying to get more legacy. I'm trying to find I'm trying to find a Dreamcast now. I want to have all legacy games here. So if y'all ever come to Milwaukee, you know, like I said, like stop oh, yeah. by the studio, man. We get some some legacy yeah. gaming in. Again, oh, the only reason we would come to Milwaukee <laughs> is because of you. Yeah, because right. uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna show y'all a relic. Well, no, I think I, I might have a show in Milwaukee. You see. Well, then that'd be the only other reason. Yeah. I would come to Milwaukee. Which I know about and, this show. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Man. Oh. yeah. <laughs> Yo, once again lion king has to be by far one of the most that's here toughest games bro that dog in all of history bro i played it just to be playing it and i was like man because we uh we lost uh i was like let me let me get let me see uh, let me see if it's still as hard as i thought it was man it is <laughs> yeah. you, had, you needed to be reminded you yeah. weren't smart enough as a child <laughs> No pun intended, bro. It a- makes me curious to know if that Aladdin still slaps too, because that Aladdin game was pretty fire too. Yeah. I got Yo, that to, here too. To this day, at, at Deuce, please, if you can, test this out for me. I still to this day remember the cheat code that'll take you to the next level in Aladdin. A B B A. Oh yeah, because it was yeah. Ababa. Yep. Yep. I'm gonna try it out. Try, try it, it. Yeah. if you play it. A B B A. And it'll take you right to the next level. That shell should have hit someone. <laughs> it it, no it breathes right past me, bro. Yo, that shell missed everybody. Hey, bro. Bro, you know what? Also, Best Buy, I mean, not Best Buy, <laughs> Blockbuster did. Um, I, you played so many random games. Because I remember when I, I remember playing Cool Spot. Yep. Yes, that Ooh, game fire. Um, people don't people forget about Jordan had a whole action RP, uh game called uh Michael Jordan in the Windy City where he he pick up basketballs and each basketball had yeah. a different uh different power. Yeah, uh, like we we actually tried to play that, that episode of Retro Game and we had <laughs> forgot to to uh record it. Uh-huh. Man, that is that I, you play so many just random off games and there was like yo like. Cool spot shouldn't have slapped it as much as it did, and it did. I Man, wish cool they'd spot. bring him back, right? As far as the mascot, like, yeah, yeah, yeah I like, like I, I wanted to drink seven. I'm not gonna lie, they work, it worked. I wanted to drink seven yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Game. Yeah. And I, I remember like, that just... song, man. There was a, when you went into the bonus stage. There was this song that uh, the Sega version. It was so dramatic, and it was yeah. It was, it was on the level of X Men. I'm trying to think what other brand had a random game. Uh, Vector Man was was Vector pretty. Man. pretty oh yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, what right, other brand you're saying? Um, yeah, there was a. Uh, I remember there was this McDonald's game. There was definitely a McDonald's yes. game. There was. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, I um, that. I'm trying to think what else. I know there was another one I played. Some some weird brand. Oh, uh, Dr Pepper had a game. Uh, it was okay. There are a few of them that like would put games out, but they'd be like, okay. Yeah. Deuce, why you why you use that on me? Cause you hit why me why first. You, <laughs> like, me? you got I was like, I was holding on to it for the purpose. Like, like who gonna pass me up so I can hit? Damn, mm-hmm. nigga, I was, I was I was coasting for a good minute too. <laughs> I was what's, like, why would you do that? What's the worst game that you play ever? Uh Superman Nintendo 64. Sekiro! Fuck that game. I Fuck I thought Glover was going to be fire, and I hated. Did Glover. you? I hated Did you Glover. really, th- bro? Because <laughs> I, bro. I was fresh off of Mario sixty four. I was like, and then I thought it was the. Mo- I thought the glove was Mario's glove, and oh, it's not. I'm so sorry. So first of all, I thought that was somebody trying to be the hamburger helper glove, and I did not appreciate. <laughs> yeah. it. 
I Glover, thought, you, yeah. bro, you thought Glover? I thought it was going to slap, man. And it did. Hey, plot twist Glover is master hand and crazy hand. Is it? Is that, is that true? I'm, I'm yo, saying you, it you, might be. No, you legit almost had this me movie. believing that. You uh, really just like, I really was finna just look up like, you gotta be kidding me. Because right. cause I really just believe Brody when he said originally, that. I thought, originally, I thought it was Mario's glove. And then I, and that, so that's why I was geeked about it too. I'm like, oh, it's like a spinoff. Yeah, yeah. Man, that game was so <laughs> They spun you off. They spun me off. <laughs> 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 Yeah, McDonald's uh, Treasure Land Adventure. That's the one that was. I'm looking it up right now. That was the McDonald's game. Cap and Crunch had a game. Um, oh, here we go. I know y'all might remember this one. This one was low key a banger. I'm not even gonna lie. It was the Chester Cheetah video game. The Cheeto yes, game. Yes, I do remember that. Yes, I do remember that one. What was that on Super Nintendo? Ah, uh, yeah, if I remember correctly. Did y'all ever play the uh, Did y'all ever play the Michael Jackson joint? Smooth yeah. Smooth. Oh yeah. Moon oh yeah. Moonwalker. Moonwalker. Yeah. Moonwalker yeah. 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 I remember that on arcade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I you know what? I I don't remember the arcade. So we had did an episode on our podcast talking about it, and one of my hosts, Liv, he had brought it up. He was talking about how the difference is on the arcade and the actual Sega version. And I said, oh, I, yeah. didn't, I didn't know that. I didn't know that there was an arcade version. Oh yeah, and the arcade version is ten times better. Yeah, that's that's what he that's what he was saying. Yeah, it's ten times better because you can uh you can also play in a group and yep. stuff like that too. Yep, that's what he was telling us. I was like, what? I was like, I did not know this at all. There was another game I like. I was remembering um uh, Tiny Toon Adventures called Buster Bust Loose. Yep, mm -hmm. that was a hey. one. That was cool. Low key, the the the. the 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 Tiny Toons, Looney Tunes, they had slap games because that Speedy Gonzalez yeah. game on Super uh, Super Nintendo was was fire, bro. Oh, yeah. I don't know if y'all remember that one. No, I remember it, that one. It was kind of like a like like a Sonic style type game. Um, what was that other one they had? Um, it was, it Duck, was Dodgers. With, uh, Duck Dodgers. Yeah, Duck that Dodgers. Was, that was it. It was a Duck Dodgers game. Yeah, that one was good too. Tasmanian Devil had a game. Yep, yep. that one was hard. That was that a hard ass video up. game. Yeah. But you know they ain't give our nigga Foghorn Leghorn his own show. <laughs> you know he was a villain in this one. There was a, uh, I think it was on Nintendo. It was called um, Bugs Bunny's Birthday Blowout, and I don't know. I guess they did the whole dream scenario. But he was trying to get to his birthday party, and all these uh, different Looney Tune characters were like the the boss in different levels. That game was hard as hell. But I don't know if you remember, but Bugs Bunny literally just had like a hammer. And that's how that's how you kind of like that was his attack, you know. He jump, just a platformer. Yeah, I don't remember that one. Yeah, I don't either. Oh, yeah, shit. it was it was a real, real piece of shit game, but you know. <laughs> it was a real piece of shit game. <laughs> yeah. But that Buster Bust Loose, that Tiny Toon Adventures one was fire because yeah. I remember there was one level where you were literally just it was like a football game, and that was the level, and you had to like it was like it was like damn near it switched over and was like you was playing NFL Blitz. For like one one yeah. stage, I, like, I always wonder that. Like, how come? Like, I feel like if two games collab, like it's like, all right, we're gonna take this aspect of our game that we excel in, and then this aspect of our game that we excel in, and then mm -hmm. in this world, like, you think like if like GTA and Two K collab, so it's like, why are you GTA if you get into the basketball game? Now the mechanics is like Two K. I feel like that'd yeah. be fire. Yeah, that would be fire. That yeah. Would be fire. Dog, this 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 is this is this is part. This is ridiculous. I know it is how it was meant to be. Okay, <laughs> yeah. victory I, was sealed. Victory was won. Hey, y'all. Well, I'm glad, glad I took one. I, I, I'm glad I took one gold trophy home today, so I'm okay. Man, hey man, you did. You did. Home, dog. I couldn't. I right, I said Lou got his redemption. I'm still last out here. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey man, you know it ain't, this ain't the last time we gonna play though or anything yeah. like that, man. We just wanted to make sure you know we able to play a couple of games, have some laughs, chat, and everything. Like we say, you know, we normally try to keep this under an hour and stuff to just have some fun, play some video games, keep it real cash on, have a good time. And I feel like we definitely accomplished that. But y'all let us know in the comments below. Um, if if Mario Kart was real. And mm. you were in the cart tournament. Who would you want to sponsor your Mario Kart? Yeah, Let fine. us know in the comments below. But before we get out of here, like I said, I always like to make sure that people know exactly where to follow my guests, what they got coming, and then where you could go to support. I'm going to start with Deuce. 
Because Deuce and the rest of the audience know why. <laughs> um, and then we're going to start the court. Then we're going to move to Lou. And then, of course, we'll uh, end with Brody. And then we'll go ahead and call this thing up. Deuce, you right. are up first. All right. Well, you can follow me at young underscore deuces on every platform. Um, I actually, you know, I, I, I interview celebrities and let them tap into their geek side. So I love being able to do that. Um, by the time this premieres, um, is this live? No, 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 premiere. Okay, by the, yeah, by the time this premiere, uh, my interview with Lamorne Morris is going to be out. So make sure you check that. But oh, go see. back. I mean, like I said, I interviewed Kel Mitchell, Phil Lamar, Deborah Wilson. I interview a lot of our uh, our heroes and just we just geek out about a whole bunch of stuff. So, man, check that out, man. It's uh, YouTube.com backslash Geek Set Podcast. The only podcast that blend hip-hop culture and geek culture together in one place. Very cool. Yes, I, can't, I can't follow that, man. Uh, <laughs> man, y'all can follow me at Lou G83, L O U G E E 83, man. Uh, you catch me with my boy, with my dog, my brother, Mr. Clint Coley, uh, on his My Edible Just Kicked In tour. Uh, I believe we got Kansas City, Missouri coming up uh, next weekend, the weekend of uh, May 20th. And uh, shoot, man, we, we we definitely coming to a city near you, man. So check me out, man. We definitely bring the laughs and, and, and we bring the pain on stage for sure, man. And that's all I got, man. I ain't got no dope interviews with nobody. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Yeah. I got you. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, Mr. Brandon Brody. Yes, indeed. Uh, at Brody the Joker, B R O A D Y the Joker on all platforms. Uh, you know, I look forward for the follows. If you guys are in uh, Columbus this weekend, I'll be. Coming to your city with King Batch on his Laugh Now, Laugh Later tour. So we are hitting a lot of cities. Uh, you know, as Lou said, we're hitting a lot of cities. So be on the lookout for um, a city near you. The next the next stop after that is Cleveland. So uh, we're, we're showing some love to Ohio. And then we got some love going out through all the other cities. Yes, indeed. With these laughs. Yes, indeed. And of course, man, you can always follow me, uh, Will Farrow, everything on uh, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, all of that. Make sure you continue to watch All Death Cannabis on all of those platforms as well. And continue watching RK Tokens and all the other series that we have like Z Force, The Apex Zone, and of course, Phantom Fiction. And make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Leave some comments below. As we said, if Mario Kart was real and you were racing, who would sponsor your cart? We want to know in the comments below. Thank you for checking out another episode of Now Loading, and we will catch you next time.